is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Don, come see what Santa brought you. Oh, Christ, I'm coming. Please, Howard, try to get through this without a fight. I can't stand another one, not on Christmas. I'd better get them shots off heels. How very sweet of you, dear. Merry Christmas, honey bunch. Hey, wonder what this could be? A fishing rod? <laughs> oh. Won't you join us in a carol before we open our gifts? Oh, Mother. Ah, oh, come on. Don't it act to the spirit. Silent, Silent night. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Ooh. Punks for Progress on YouTube right. and Facebook. Thanks, brother. That sounds right up my alley. It's always a good day when you hear a punk say the word righteous. Normally during the Christmas season, we start the program by showing an outside shot of our all-American Christmas tree on Fox Square. But last night, shortly after midnight, somebody climbed up in the tree and lit it on fire. It's beginning to look a lot like arson. <laughs>
Yeah. That's how Elvez does it. Just like that. Uh-huh. 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 Feliz Navidad by Elvez. <laughs> hey, fam. Um, I have other videos picked out. Um, what's up next? Oh, it's a visit from Marx. <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, this is a visit from Marx. It's kind of short. <laughs> but then it's also followed by But Christmas by Fear. <laughs> but I hope you're all enjoying this. It looks like I got some of the video frame stuff figured out. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Ow! <laughs> I'm burning MAGA. <laughs> I'm burning MAGA hats and stuff. Y'all have to have seen this thing floating around, right? Anyway, um, that is the link that Mag, uh, um, that you dropped in the um, work slack there, Shan, SoCal Shan. So thank SoCal Shannon for um, putting a fireplace in my wall. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. It looks really neat. Um, but, yes, I have hot cocoa. I'm almost done with this one. I'm drinking EtherTech Industries Fine Ogre Wee with my hot cocoa. I'm, 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 I'm pretty close to ha uh, needing another one. So I'm going to play this here, A Visit from Marx, followed by Fear with Fuck Christmas. And then I think we'll play a second Krampus horror story. <laughs> okay, so with no further whatever and tinsel and stuff with fires burning in my wall and whatever, let's take a look at a visit from Marx. It's from Bat Co. Um, is the name of the YouTube channel where I got it. We gotta turn the fire down. We can't have the fire blazing while we play Batco's video, A Visit from Marx. So, here we go. Twas the nights before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Mark's would never be there. The bourgeois were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of money danced in their heads. The workers were working all through the night, realizing at last no one cared for their plight. Then, out of the factory, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw open the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wandering eyes did appear but an army of workers, and their purpose was clear. They aimed to destroy the last oligarchs, and I knew that their leader must be St. Mark's. More rapid than <laughs> eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Min, now Guevara, now Trotsky and Lenin, on Mao, on Luxembourg, on Tito and Stalin, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop, the courses they flew, but the sleigh full of hell and St. Mark's was there too. Up on the rooftop, he pulled on his reins. On the workers, you've got nothing to lose but your chains. The time of the capitalist has come to an end. The moment had come for the proletariat to ascend. Above me I heard the sound of artillery fire. I finally understood just how the situation was dire. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Mark's came in with a bound. His eyes, how they twinkled, they filled me with dread. His cheeks were like roses, his suit was all red. The beard on his chin was as white as the snow, but his mustache was dark, as black as a crow. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, seizing all property, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger on the trigger of his gun, giving a nod to his comrades. And I knew I was done. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, A revolution for all, and to all a good night.
Well, hey, welcome to the Father Fury Show. It's been a minute. It's been a long minute, almost mm -hmm. a little bit of a year. What's happening? What happened? Where did we go after our first episode? Episode. Organs were, uh, you know, revolting against me. Mm -hmm. um, How did that happen? What What was the cause of that? COVID. You know the the disease that you know the big old Chinese hoax. Yes, the big thing that's uh, it's absolutely fake. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the whole world, you know, conspired. Yes. To get to care enough about American politics. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. To create a virus that's fake. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. We were some of the first folks to contract COVID. We were, actually. Uh, here in I our state of Georgia. I was the very first one in my county. Yeah. Yay, we're number one. <laughs> uh, so, you know, what's been going on since then, of course, is, uh, you know, I've been working on music. I'm sure that you've heard some of it. Take a break to a window pane. Gotta fly before you create. Don't let the assholes have the final say. You are full of possibilities. So, while we've been gone, we've had a few things um, happen in a curve of the uh, the course of that. Uh, it's uh, we've had Cheeto Mussolini try to <laughs> create a uh, create a coup in this country. And then um, when he didn't get his way, he, uh, you know, was going to need China. Yeah, and had uh, had his buddy, had his uh, idiot followers uh, storm the Capitol. You know, which, uh, oh, wow, man. You know, Congress should be afraid of, of the people because they don't do anything for the people. And they should absolutely be afraid. But, man, what a horrible thing to storm the Capitol and remind them why they should be afraid. You know... We could have, like, stormed it because people are dying for lack of adequate health care. We could have stormed the Capitol and scared the shit out of uh, congressmen and women because uh, we continue to funnel billions of dollars into the military-industrial complex while people are living on the street. Wasn't it $9 trillion that it missed? Yes, yes. So, mm. But no, we decided because uh, Trump, orange man, did not win the election... We're going to storm the Capitol. We replaced uh, Cheeto Mussolini with um, incompetent idiot one and two uh, cop lady. So yeah, that that's gone well. How it well does. was that? Yeah, how well was that <laughs> gone? Uh, you know, we've had so many things change policy wise since uh, you know Donald Trump has been out of office, and we've had Joe Biden in office. Well, you, you know, know fundamentally everything was changed. Yes, yes, and you know promises made, promises kept. So that's the, that's the, yeah, that's the bad news. Um, the good news is that, Yay. yeah, is that uh, <laughs> this has actually inspired an entire new group of people to stand up, speak out, yeah. and get involved. 2021 hasn't been much better than 2020, let's be honest. But the fact of the matter is, is mm -hmm. that we're still here, we're still standing, we're on this side of the grass, and mm -hmm. so each new day... Uh, creates a new opportunity to create change. You know, we've got a lot of negative shit. You know, the uh, the world is absolutely revolting against us. All uh, the volcanoes are going volcanoes off. Volcanoes are erupting like fucking Jesus. crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh we God. have a we have what is it, a meteor that's a planet that's possibly going to uh, to hit us. So <laughs> yeah, should we be sitting on our roofs and be like woo, mm -hmm. waiting for it or what? There's a lot of crazy shit that's going on right now. Yeah. A lot of scary shit that's going on. And we can either let it weigh us down and let it completely destroy us and immobilize us. Or we can cause it to empower us. When you talk about, you know, communist ideas, anarchist ideas, socialist ideas, but you don't use those big scary right. words. Right, and you know? they agree with you all the time. And they're like, yeah, yeah, brother, you know, <laughs> yeah, brother, people, you know, the workers should own. The know, the labor, so you know, the 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 profit from the labor, you know, they they should own that. Oh, yeah, I could, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, right on, brother, right on. So, you know, let's do this. Uh, we the power is in us, and mm -hmm. uh, we can do this together. And it doesn't mean that uh, everybody has to pick up a pitchfork or a gun. Oh, I'm all for it. Oh yeah, I like that too. You know, Gorgeous. the old school method. It's gonna take all of us. You yes. know, it's going to take musicians gonna take artists it's gonna take uh people with medical skills 
people that uh, have worked in emergency management and do and like have managed disasters. <laughs> uh, you know, not to point our own fingers or anything, but it's gonna take it's gonna take these people, and it's gonna take all of us. You know, we're. I can train you if you want training. Mm, yes, yeah. don't let this immobilize you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> allow this to empower you to uh, join a community. You know, even if it's starting one of your own in your own community. You know, creating a community garden, create community within yourself. Because mm -hmm. I mean, we're we're all fucking isolated in this country, and yep. it's on purpose. Um, and it's going to take engaging in unique ways because we have created such a polarized country. I Wonderful. think your camera just said something. That's okay. It said it's a size limit something. Okay, that's fine. But. Did we just get cut off? No, we're still playing. Uh, oh. So I think the message we want to have here today is that uh, there's a lot of scary shit going on right now. There's a lot of crazy things going on right now. The world is in turmoil. Scary, or you can see it as an opportunity. Yes. Whatever you can do, what, whatever your talents are good at, there's a reason that you have these talents. Mm -hmm. So let's use them to create the world we want to live in. This is Father Fury and... Steph the Honey Badger. She had to think about it for a minute. See, COVID really fucked her up. Really uh, did. Yeah. <laughs> um, saying goodnight, and uh, we're going to hopefully continue doing these, you know, start off again doing these short video clips. Uh, I was going to say, now hopefully yeah. we're going to do it. Yeah, for the, uh, for the WTF report with uh, Punks for Progress. And, uh, you know, as Steph's health continues to improve and, um, you know, life kind of stabilizes a little bit more when we're able to kind of juggle all that together you know we can begin to expand our little uh video cast podcast whatever the fuck you call mm -hmm. it you know this thing that i'm talking to you on good night uh this is father fury saying good night and steph all the honey badger saying good night and uh have a good week and fuck jeff bezos one two three four <laughs>
from Andorra. Today we're going to talk about the uh, migrant crisis on the Polish Belarusian border. The story begins this year with the elections held in Belarusia. The elections are considered to be fraudulent and the uh, person who has claimed victory in those elections, Alexander Lukashenko, is considered to be internationally the last dictator in Europe. He has been in power since uh, early mid uh, 90s and uh, his strongest ally to this day has been Russia. First with Boris Yeltsin and now with Vladimir Putin. The crisis at the Polish Belarusian border begins in the summer of this year with the uh, granting of visas by the Belarusian government to people interested in Iraq and Syria. The Belarusian government also leased airplanes to transport those people into Belarusia, where they were picked at the airport, put into buses, and transported into the border, where they were at gunpoint forced to cross into the European Union. The situation is today that there is a standoff between Polish and Belarusian forces with the involvement of British troops as well at the border. The reason that British troops have been there, though Britain is no longer a member of the European Union since March this year, is the fear of the British government that those people will end up on British soil. It is important to note that European countries, most of them at least, are NATO members. Hence, had been involved since the early 2000s in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. I find it extremely disturbing that those countries had been bombing Iraq, Afghanistan and elsewhere around the world back into the Stone Age without carrying any repercussion of their actions in those countries and without taking any responsibility for the refugee situation they have created in the country of the origins of those people. It is important also to note that Alec Tikhanovsky, the uh, leader of the opposition to Alexander Lukashenko in Belarusia, had been sentenced yesterday for 15 years for, in prison for inciting violence and civil unrest in the country. That is to follow after hundreds of thousands of people during the spring and summer this year had taken to the streets of Minsk and other large cities in Belarus in protest against Lukashenko and the results of the elections in Belarus. It is also important to note that since Tikhanovsky had been arrested, his wife Tikhanovska had taken to the mantle and taken his role as the opposition leader to Lukashenko. She has been in exile in uh, Estonia since earlier this year and been a vocal opponent to Lukashenko. The European Union had been very supportive of the opposition to Lukashenko which led Lukashenko to the decision to use humans as weapons, as in the crisis at the polish Belarusian border nowadays. And the European Union has dubbed this move of transporting people from Iraq and Syria into Minsk and then to the European border as a hybrid warfare. Interestingly enough, Russia had been very quiet on the subject and Putin has uh, himself declared that he had nothing to do with the crisis and this has to do between Belarusia and uh, the European Union. Also, it is important to note that since the migrant crisis of 2015, the European Union had been building and supporting refugee camps 
all over Northern Africa, the Middle East, Turkey, and Central Asia. They sponsor it and send money to those countries to prevent migrants from crossing into Europe. The reason for that being the uh, civil unrest that followed the large-scale migration of people from war-torn areas into Europe. It is important to note that as a result of that, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the president of Turkey, had been using migrants as a weapon against the European Union in order to blackmail the European Union and receive further funds to holding back those people, in his own words. It is important also to note that in the past five years, Erdogan had been receiving 6 billion euros from the European Union, which is translated into 8.2 billion dollars. Also, since most of the European Union countries are members of NATO, they hold responsibility for creating the refugee crisis in the first place. Had they not been involved in those wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, they would not have had this crisis on their hands. Again, it is important to stretch that at the Polish border today, the Polish government had created a buffer zone preventing aid, health, and journalists from reaching those migrants at the border. This situation has been resulted in fatalities in recent weeks, with people freezing to death in the forests of Yellow Russia and Poland. Also, it is important to note that every night and almost every week in the European media we hear about boats with migrants that had capsized in the Mediterranean or in the British Channel. We're talking about a crisis that had cost the lives of hundreds of people this year alone. We have to stop this. We have to do something against the tyranny of rich countries, against poor countries with resources. And that goes also to the responsibility of richer countries when it comes to climate change. It is important to note that a lot of the uh, global crisis that had to do with climate change had been affecting those countries that have a large amount of natural resources, yet low amount of drinking for water and other things needed to sustain human life. Those people escaping those countries due to global warming can thank the rich countries such as the European Union and the US for consuming those resources and forcing those people into exiles for their country of origin.
Heart, I write you on this godforsaken happy holidays card. By the time our caravan had fought tooth and nail through the gridlock of the Glendale off-ramp to the Little Valley Mall, the true believers had ransacked the hallmark, leaving only the abominable, generic holiday fair. Merry Christmas, Samuel Ableton, Private Hudson Valley PTA. My very dearest Samuel, I read your letter with great sadness, and it pains me to relay that Last night, I discovered our son, Jonathan, arriving home from school with a handful of Hanukkah geld, and that he had received such blasphemous sweets from a sanctioned holiday fair. Oh, that our boy's precious upbringing might be poisoned by unchecked tolerance. Acceptance is truly a stain on this nation's moral fabric. Merry Christmas. Mrs. Elizabeth Abel. Dear Elizabeth, suffer as I may against these accursed heathens who seek to render our great traditions obsolete with their calls for inclusion. My thoughts and heart remain with you and the children. I hope you have protected and nurtured them from the influence of the liberal secularists as you have nurtured our Christmas tree, a tradition we definitely did not steal from pagan cultures to begin with.
It's beginning to look a lot like arson. 